All right, we're going to go through this very quickly, how to submit your entry form for your Doodle for Google design. First of all, you're going to go to your fifth marking period. It is in your folder that says Doodle for Google, and I put it at the very top of your assignments. It says Doodle for Google or D4G entry form. You're going to click on that assignment. It says download the attached PowerPoint to your laptop. Replace the image with your Doodle for Google. Fill in the requested information. Save your completed PowerPoint as a JPEG image and attach your JPEG to this assignment where it says attach files. This is due today in class. If for some reason you don't finish it in class, just make sure I have it sometime today. All right, uh, Doodle for Google Entry Form PowerPoint. You're going to click on that. Notice it downloaded. And I'm going to open that and I'm opening it on my computer, not online. You're probably going to have to click right here where it says Enable Editing. Now, I've already stuck an image on here, so all you really have to do in order to change your image is um, right-click on that image, and then it says right here, Change Picture. So when you want to change your picture, you can go find your file. It says from a file. So you're going to browse for whatever file you want. And I don't think I have any pictures saved on here just yet. Um, so let me see what's in here. And let's say you want to replace it with this picture right here. I'm just going to click on that picture and I'm going to insert it. And it will change my image. Okay, it's that simple. Um, if I want to change it back to my other one, I'm going to go through how to change it again. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to change picture. Now, I'm, I could have just clicked undo, but what I want to do is go through here and um, show you how to insert a picture there. There. All right. You right click and you change picture. That's how you fix that. Then, um, down here, you might want to make your, your PowerPoint slide a little bit bigger. You can do that over here. There's a size adjustment. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that it's easier to read what it wants. Right here it says your doodle title, 10 words max. All right, put whatever the title of your doodle is. Doodle description, write an artist statement to tell a little bit more about what you have drawn and how it represents something that inspires you. Write one to three sentences. Remember that you have already written on a document where you had to make a list and two different Padlet assignments. So from that information that you've already written, you should be able to compose one to three sentences very quickly and very easily on here. There is other information, uh, your parent or guardian name, and what I did was I just put type here. All of these are text boxes where you can type in them very easily. Just click there, get rid of all that, and type your address, city, state, zip, email. Let's use your school email for this one. Phone right here. Uh, your name, your grade, the name of our school, obviously, HF Stevens Middle School. Um, the address is 9 40 North Crowley Road and I'll type that in here so that you can see it on the video 940 North Crowley Road Crowley Texas and what's our zip code here anybody lives in Crowley 76036 is that right 76036 Okay, uh, you might want to adjust the size of that one right there because it kind of goes over. You can do that. You can click and drag and highlight it. Look up here. Here is the size of the font. So I'm just going to make it a little smaller so it fits in there. And then it says school or nonprofit organization phone. And I'll put that phone number up here on the board here in just a little bit. Now, over here, it has a place for your parent or guardian signature. Do not worry about that right now. I will come up with something that you can take home, you can get signed, bring it to me, and we will incorporate it back into your slide like this so that whenever we turn these in, we can submit them all electronically tomorrow. When you're done, you finish typing in all your information here. 
you're going to come over here to where it says file and you're going to do um, a save as because I want you to save it on your desktop where you can find it and I want you to save it first as a PowerPoint and when you do I want you to add your name to it if everybody types in there the words your name you are going to be in so much trouble put your first name and your last name all right and save it as a PowerPoint on your desktop then you're gonna save it again you're gonna do a file save as on your desktop and you're gonna save it with this same name right here but look at this drop down box where it says save as type you're gonna click that drop down box and right here where it says JPEG you're gonna click on that and you're gonna save it as a JPEG now it's gonna ask you which slides just this one because there's only one anyway now when I go look at my desktop I have this entry form right here and I also have this image I would like for you to attach both of those to your assignment today I will go in and I will edit that assignment and it will tell you to turn in your PowerPoint and this so you're gonna turn in two files you're gonna save it as a PowerPoint save it as a JPEG and turn both of those in all right before I turn you loose to work on this are there any questions all right then I am going to stop this video and you guys in here get to work <laughs>